the Kevin McCarthy, apparently by every indication of his past behavior, will just go whichever way the wind is blowing that he thinks might get him into the speaker's chair and keep him there. Uh, it's it's really, truly disturbing. And I, I want to agree with uh, something Eric said a few minutes ago, that it is part of this crisis that we have reached a state where people will essentially vote for, you know, a banana split if it's got their party's uh, letter next to it, an R or a D. Luckily, that's not true of all Americans. And I think that some of the greatest patriots in our country right now are ordinary people mm -hmm. who still insist on trying to determine whether they're voting for somebody who's honest and who's qualified and who has their and the country's best interests at heart. And mm -hmm. unfortunately, we're in a state now where many people, especially in the current Republican Party, uh, I don't want to say it's only happening there, but it's a, a very serious problem there right now, have just concluded that, you know, nothing matters, as, as some Republican activists will say out loud, you know, nothing matters, LOL and have just embraced the nihilistic pursuit of power mm -hmm. and essentially have no moral code, apparently, other than what can be sold to an electorate that they view as suckers to be manipulated by playing on their, you know, fear and, and mutual hatred that they try to uh, stoke. But there are Republican patriots as well, and uh, Democratic patriots, as I say, who are just trying to preserve the mm -hmm. basic fundamentals of democracy, yeah. and that's who we have to pin our hopes on. I think that's a big part of why uh, Reverend Warnock won uh, an election that was too close, was Republicans and uh, independents who would otherwise have probably voted for a sane and, and basically qualified Republican right. could not bring themselves to do that.